I was thinking about what video and game would be the first one on my channel here at the start of a new year, meaning 2024. And I just realized there couldn't be a better opening than to play and talk about a game that I have enjoyed a lot through the years and still go back and play once in a while, and that is Dirty Bomb. But time has passed since the game was released back in 2015, so the question is if Dirty Bomb is still worth your time in 2024. First, I want to just briefly explain, especially for those of you that has never played Dirty Bomb before, what it is and also what you can expect if you decide to give it a go. As mentioned, the game was released back in 2015 by Splash Damage, who are the developers, and War Chest, who are the publishers, although Dirty Bomb was originally published by Nexon. Dirty Bomb is a free-to-play shooter, it's fast-paced, straightforward, depending heavily on team play and a competitive mind and spirit to it. You played with so-called mercenaries, different characters with different abilities, although this game focuses mostly on gunplay more than anything else. And the game is a challenge and it won't hold your hand since there's no aim assist or controller support. All that lies between you and certain death here in the game is player skill and reaction. Work together or you will die alone in a very challenging team-based FPS game. Sounds great, doesn't it? Especially in a time where there's games that tries to please everyone at any cost, I would say, and has over-the-top strong aim assist and a skill-based matchmaking system that sooner or later most likely will make you annoyed or fatigued. So what's the catch then, or what's the downside you might ask? Well, as mentioned, the game is competitive and fast-paced, and since the game has been out for quite some time now, since 2015 as mentioned, it usually means that many players that are still playing Dirty Bomb are pretty good at the game. So my point is that it might be a tough task to get into the game now if you aren't somewhat used to play FPS games, and especially the objective, competitive type of gameplay you'll find in Dirty Bomb. There was earlier attempts to have ranked mode as well, but right now there's nothing really separating new players and veterans in the game. Yes, there's a small core community left when it comes to Dirty Bomb. That is the main reason that the game is still up and running after all these years. Paying for community servers so people still can play and since the official support of the game ended around 2019, I believe. So why am I saying this? Well, because if you're new to the game, and if you're looking forward to continuously new content being added, then you will be disappointed since that's not the case. With that out of the way, I do want to say though that if you're looking for a fun, most of the time at least, and well-designed shooter experience, then Dirty Bomb can definitely become your game as well. Because up to this day, I have a hard time to compare Dirty Bomb with other games, meaning finding something that is equally good and similar to Dirty Bomb when it comes to movement in combination with great gunplay and objective team play and experiences. Dirty Bomb is a smooth experience and if you start to play and put the time into it, you can start to take advantage of some of the parkour gameplay movement patterns you might say that can be beneficial for you and your team but also just pure fun when you pull them off and land a kill by doing so. Good news is that Dirty Bomb has recently gained players, even though it is considered to be a dead game by a lot of people. I recently checked the Steam charts and even though they're not perfect, they can give you an indication in what direction things are going. And as you see, Dirty Bomb has gone from around 65 players on average in October this year, all the way up to 494 players on average when it comes to the last 30 days. I'm glad to see this, although I don't have a good explanation why that has happened during the last three months of 2023. If this is an ongoing trend or not, it's hard to tell, but it does of course increase your chances to get into matches, even when you're not playing the game during peak hours, which is usually late afternoon or an evening's local time. I've talked about the fact that it has been hard to find games nowadays that are similar to Dirty Bomb. Sure, there's titles that reminds me a bit about Dirty Bomb, or at least certain features or design choices that might remind me about the ones I'll find and experience within Dirty Bomb as well. But I can't think of any other game out there that plays in the way that Dirty Bomb does, and I'm therefore a bit surprised that we haven't seen more attempts to copy-paste the Dirty Bomb concept overall. Because I strongly believe that if you just got at least close to the gameplay experience of Dirty Bomb when it is at its best, then you could have a FPS game that will become quite popular and do well. Then you might wonder why there hasn't been a Dirty Bomb 2 in the making, 
I guess the only ones that could answer that question properly is Splash Damage themselves. Because without going into details why Splash Damage stopped supporting their own game in the first place, something I've talked about before, I do believe that the only way to actually revive Dirty Bomb or the franchise you might say is to make a sequel, meaning a Dirty Bomb 2. If so, they could improve things that Splash Damage expressed that they weren't able to achieve in the already existing game. But the Splash Damage studio is currently finishing their work when it comes to their upcoming Transformer game called Transformers Reactivate, which is supposed to be a 1-4 to four player online action game. I didn't find an exact release date, but it seems as if it will be released in 2024. With that said, I do believe that the chances that Splash Damage would get into the ID and work of a Dirty Bomb sequel is pretty low. The studio is also not the same as it was a couple of years ago, meaning some of the original Dirty Bomb developers might not even be around any longer. But is Dirty Bomb worth your time in 2024? Well, my answer is yes, since I really like how the game plays and the overall design. Sure, there's flaws to be found in a game such as Dirty Bomb as well, but when the teams are somewhat well balanced, you can have a really good and fun time playing Dirty Bomb. But as mentioned early in the video, this might not be a game for you if you are a FPS newbie. I don't want to frighten people off, because this old game surely needs and should welcome new players. But since there's no support anymore, there's no mechanisms or algorithms or playlists really that separates or protects, if you will, new players from older players, meaning mostly more experienced players in the game. So, towards the end of the video, I do want to hear from you as well. I'm pretty sure that some of you guys that are watching the video and has come this far, thanks for watching, <laughs> has either played or are still playing Dirty Bomb. Maybe also now in the beginning of 2024. So feel free to share your thoughts, the good and the bad if you will when it comes to a game such as Dirty Bomb. Now with that said, I want to say thank you for watching and of course if you enjoyed the video please give a like, it helps me out here and also consider to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more when it comes to future uploads, both when it comes to new and older FPS games. Talk to you later, cheers!